What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you can get the information you need right up front. And if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step -step walkthrough. Today, we're going to talk to you about how to add or delete columns in Microsoft Lists. Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands because I got to use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes. I don't care what you heard. Okay, let's go ahead and get that timer rolling. All right, boom. First thing you're going to do is you're going to hover where you want that new column to go. You're going to click on the plus sign. And here we're going to add in a cost column. So you want to go with currency. We're going to say next. And then we're going to name it cost. We could describe it currency. Boom, 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 boom. Save. Ba bam. There it is. You got a column for cost. But you're like, oh, snap. I don't need that. I didn't mean to make it. Okay. Well, then you can go edit the column. And then you go, ba ba bam, delete, delete, gone. You did it. All right, hopefully we made it in 60 seconds. If not, I'm sure I'm going to hear about it in the comments. All right, uh, please like, share, subscribe, all that happy stuff, bell notification. You know what to do. Now, let's break it down a little bit and slow it down, and let's talk about what's going on here. Okay, first and foremost, I showed you, like, the quick and easy way uh, to be able to go and add that information in Microsoft list meaning how to add a column uh, now that's the quick and easy way uh, the other way would be going into open in SharePoint and then you'd be opening this list inside the SharePoint browser window and you can go from there so since we are slowing it down how about we uh, well first let's recap how we do it the quick and easy way you just hover in between the column where you want it to rock and roll and then you pounce on that plus button and then you just find the column and it's pretty cool because when you select one of those it will tell you you know what that column's used for how it will behave in the list which is pretty slick uh so one way you could get to sharepoint is if you go see all column types it's going to bop you into the uh, list settings of sharepoint uh, otherwise, you can click on this link here in the command bar, open in SharePoint. Boom, it opens up that list in SharePoint. And now that we're in SharePoint, we can do a similar thing with pouncing on that plus sign. Same scenario. Boom. Uh, but if you want to go to the old school method, go backstage, you're going to go to the gear icon and go list settings. And then you're going to go down in here and you can create column. And then this is where... Uh, if you click on show other column types in the quick add, this is where it will bop you to. All right, so we're just going to go back, 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 and well, we can just kind of close this, I would imagine. And so that is the recap on how to add. Uh, you got the plus, or you can bop into open in SharePoint, et cetera, et cetera. And if we need to reverse something, Let's see, is there a column here that I actually want to get rid of? No, I'm, I'm going to add one that I want to delete. We'll just go with a text column and we will call it delete me. So you got this pesky column you want to delete. Word of caution, whatever data you've got stored in that column is also going away with it. Be sure you want to do that. Uh, you can go into column settings, edit, and then smack that delete button and you are done um, of course again same thing if you want to go to SharePoint you can do that in SharePoint uh, you can hit your drop down edit delete or you can go into your list settings and you can go to the column open it up and you should find a delete button boom again data is gone all right that does it hopefully that helps please let us know what you think in the comments let us know what other videos you'd like to see as always thank you for the support we appreciate you this channel does not exist without you as always sharepoint rocks and so do you we'll see you next time i'm a sharepoint expert play with data extra careful with my hands because i gotta use them forward yeah i'm a big old nerd i like maple syrup all my pancakes i don't care what you heard